This is our 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo. What a phenomenal car. Porsche have absolutely nailed it with the Taycan. It's pretty much the best all electric car you can get on the market today, if you don't mind me saying that. It's just very, very finished and polished. It does the full electric car thing so superbly. This one being the turbo, now although it weighs over two tons, 2.3 tons to be exact, it still does with the launch control and the 670 horsepower uh, full mode activated, you can actually do zero to 16 three seconds flat. Three seconds flat for a two and a half ton car, phenomenal. Range, range, it varies, but you're talking anything between 310 um, miles uh, down to 240 miles. So, I say an average of around 280 miles. And um, with it being Porsche, of course, it drives fantastically, like a proper performance vehicle. It's just a very, very clever piece of technology. Now this one, one owner, of course, from new, uh, supplied in July 2020, uh, just over 2,000 miles in the superb uh, Glacier White uh, with the best wheel combination, um, which I think are the best for the Taycan, where you've got the two tones, you've got the, the, the complete black wheel, then with the um, white uh, rim, it looks fantastic. I mean, look at those, I keep looking at these brake calipers because they're absolutely enormous and the brake discs, I mean, they are just humongous. The biggest I've ever seen on any car, actually. What a machine. Uh, Good Eagle F1 tyres. You've got your charging ports on either side here. Um, you've got the gloss black side strake uh, on the lower skirt. Surround view cameras on this one. It's got loads of options. I'm going to list every single option on the vehicle in the ad, so everything's going to be on there correctly. So please check everything on there. So if there's something you want to know if it's got, just have a look uh, in the text. Panoramic glass roof, of course, which is essential. Privacy glass. Well, the rear tires and rear wheels are pretty enormous, as you can see that lovely wide stance you've got the led rear light that goes across the the rear of the vehicle you've got the taycan turbo uh, logo and then the porsche behind the rear light panel of course no exhaust because it's all electric and then going down this side again much of the same you've got the pop-out door handles so these literally uh, sorry, let me get the key. We have two keys, of course. Doors pop out. And then, of course, you can open as such. We'll go into the interior from the other side shortly. Sorry, let me just close that. You've got this fantastic uh, recess between the wing uh, and the door for a cooling vent it looks great and of course it's functional you've got these fantastic Porsche LED matrix headlight system which look superb and are very very good to use you've got the gloss black there on the lower splitter really really looks good in this white color combination it's a really good looking car and it just suits the contours of the car perfectly barely been used really um, and the reason why uh, the current owner uh, is selling it simply because it's not getting used so you've got the benefit now of not waiting to get a brand new one from Porsche. You can get one right away here with ourselves um, that's only a few months old and has got uh, only a couple of thousand miles and is fully specced up with 
a ton of options. So power tailgate, of course, really good size boot, despite the fact you've got loads of batteries. Uh, you've got a power charging cable there. Underneath it, just additional storage. Close that boot now. So going on to the passenger compartment. So first of all, it's all black inside, which is the perfect combination with the white. You've got the Bose sound system. You've got the leather on the doors. You've got the stainless sill plates. And then you've got these really fantastic, really comfortable, deep sort of bucket rear seats with the turbo logo on the headrests. Center armrest that of course drops down. You've got the ambient lighting configured in blue in this instance. You've got heated rear seats as well. You've got these fantastic spore seats at the front and that huge panoramic sunroof. Going on to the driver's area. So much the same, you've got the uh, memory settings for the seats. This has got the 18 way comfort seats, um, comfort sport seats, they're the best ones you can get multiple different ad adjustments there uh, and of course memory settings for both the driver and passenger you've got uh, all your windows and uh, wing mirrors control on the door and of course you've got your bow speaker and storage here as well Porsche mats of course in place as they should be you can see there the turbo logo again on the headrest now Oh, let's just turn that down. Bear with me two moments. There we go. So, apologies for that. Now, let's have a look inside. First of all, you've got this fantastic, you can see here the dash is just this really thin screen. And you've got the buttons on here that you can actually, you've got really nice haptic feedbacks so when you touch any button, because everything's touch control. Uh, when you touch anything, it just literally respond, responds with a, a sort of click. So for example, your suspension there, you can adjust, um, you, you can raise or lower the vehicle. You can adjust the suspension to Sport Plus and obviously it'll go back down as it's doing now. This whole screen's obviously digital. Excuse the tire warning light, we have put air in, but um, it won't reset until we've driven it 15, 20 miles. So we'll have to do that um, another time because uh, that's how it learns the system. It's very clever, uh, but annoying at the same time. Um, so here you can choose what you want displayed. So at the moment we've got map. You can use this button. Now if you choose this, it selects which of the displays you want to change. For example, if you want to change this one, you then scroll with this wheel and you can choose all wheel, tire info, G-force, traffic signs, assistance systems. So for example, if you want to go assistance systems, you could um, you could select that and then it'll display your various systems as you're driving. So we'll leave it on traffic signs for now. Go on going on to the main middle section of the screen, power meter, extended map, reduced. So there's all sorts of stuff you can uh, you can uh, display on that on that uh, display. And then going to the last one, uh, you've got things there like, for example, how much battery charge is left, the date, current battery voltage. So information, media sport chrono this one's got the sport chrono option there as you can see with the central clock uh, trip navigation um, so you could have navigation on there as well and then something else on there like we've got the power meter so loads of different options there here you've got your um, cruise control and um, lane assist just hit that button for the lane keep assist um, now it's got a lovely black gloss finish here and it's being plastic which Porsche have done nicely and the same on the other stock there. Here you've got your voice control and you've also got um, your favourite button that you can, uh, can uh, programme to do straight, uh, straight away what you want. Let's just close that. It does take a bit of getting used to because there's so many different things you can do. It does take some... some um, you know familiarity um, so the drive mode selection you can use this wheel here to go from normal sport sport plus individual you can also use the main screen um, there's all sorts of different ways you've got this lovely ambient blue uh, cup holders and then your center console of course you've got two tracker fobs there you just need to activate it with Porsche USB sockets etc 
in here we've got your book pack you've got one two three screens here you've got the black alcantara headlining which looks and feels fantastic and luxurious let's talk about some of these other screens that we've got here so uh, phenomenal a bit of kit i mean first of all you've got a quick shortcut to the reverse surround view cameras that's by the way just blocked because i've got the number plate cover on um, but you've got the surround cameras which makes the car very easy to place you can of course adjust what position you want the cameras uh, sorry what picture you want the cameras to display um, you've also got things like you can turn the screen on and off you've got your uh, heated seats and dual zone climate control and then of course shortcuts to things like your um, navigation so that'll switch that on straight away your music phone did you hear that little click that's the sort of haptic feedback that you get and of course your settings there so that's really really nice to um nice to play with i'll say um just by having a little go with this um with this thing with this screen um okay so what else have we got well i think that's pretty much it on on this screen you have got again more shortcuts to the main menu um, but let's have a look at the some of the you've also got their pre-cool heat so you can actually time the car to to heat up and cool itself down while it's parked um, to suit yourself but let, let's go to the main screen you've got all these different sub menus you can go into <coughs> excuse me um, it's very very clever stuff there's loads of loads and loads of stuff you can play with um, if we go into car there you can see um, outside temperature seven and a half degrees what the time is now date etc the range uh, the charging settings you can also go to your assistance and change that comfort of course um, ambient lighting so as I was mentioning you can you can choose different colors and and the brightness as well so for example if we click on that we can adjust the different colors if we want um, <laughs> even the brightness of the cup holder I mean it's crazy but there you go they've, they've done everything of Porsche the driver's seat how you want the heat distributed and same for the passenger seat um, comfort entry um, etc etc assistance we're already uh, we've already covered now the drive mode like I say you've got your drive mode button here on the steering wheel but you can also do it here so you've got range normal sport sport plus individual which you can configure yourself and then the chassis um, and then the levels of course so you can adjust the ride height uh, of the air suspension recuperation for it to recoup uh, energy and put it back into the battery uh, and then of course electric uh, electric sport um, can be on or off so that's that then you've got things like your messages so for example I now need to put the tire inflation button until we go for that drive to reset the TPMS sensors um, but yeah everything's on there that you could want um, devices you've got Apple Play uh, I mean it's just it's just crazy the amount of stuff that's on here um, obviously things like your weather if you uh, if you want to see what the weather's like you know it's all connected to the internet it can do pretty much everything such clever stuff love it really really good and then um you can of course uh you can of course um and we can see there the weather displayed but you can of course go to uh here for example and sorry let's just press that so you can open the dc ac and this is ac only um charging ports the front trunk and the rear boot you can also open so you can see there and then you can also close it with that button as well so it makes things nice and simple um, and then that button there will take you to your straight to your current charge state screen uh, which you can see very easily so yeah loads of good stuff I'm not going to cover absolutely everything on the car because I'll be here all night and it'll be a couple of hour video so I'm trying to keep it fairly short and sweet but like I say I've listed all the options um, down on the ad and I've tried to give you a brief overview there of what features or some of the features the Taycan Turbo has got but it is such a phenomenal car as I'm sure you'll know if you've done your research and you're looking at one of these in here we've got obviously your front boot we've got um, the charging packs with various adapters uh, we've got one of the main cables in the boot there um, but yeah the main boot area is obviously where you'd store most of your stuff but you've got some extra storage space there as well but that is pretty much it folks I'm gonna close this up and um, 
leave it with you. It is a superb car. I do highly recommend our delivery service. It's two pound a mile in an enclosed trailer to your door. Um, and of course, our finance brokers are ready to take your call or give you a quote on um, finance options for this car. We can do some pretty crazy stuff like deferred deposit. So um, it will cost you less a month and you put down less up front. Uh, there's all sorts of different things we can do, very creative uh, that will suit your particular circumstance, okay? Um, if you need any more information, please don't hesitate to give me a call, email or text. Any time is fine and I'll be happy to run through anything I can with you. Uh, the car, of course, is only a few months old, so it's still got the Porsche warranty and assistance package till it's three years old. Uh, so you can buy with complete peace of mind from Kingsbridge. And uh, that pretty much wraps everything up, guys. So thank you very much for watching our video. I hope you found the video informative on the Taycan Turbo. And I look forward to receiving your inquiries on it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a good night.